What is going on you guys? Spinal Tap here and welcome to my second episode of this After Effects tutorial series. I hope you guys enjoyed my first episode. I hope it helped you out. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out. It's right in the description. Um, today should be a really interesting one since we no longer have spectator mode in game. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who have been asking me how how to record cinematics. Um, how can they get the HUD removal? Um, so just things like that. There's um, there's a way you can do it now, but you won't get the full spectator mode where you can fly around maps. But you, st you can still get cinematics. Um, so today I'll be teaching you that. I'll be teaching you how to get a cinematic and remove the HUD in After Effects with some tricks. So, um, let's get to it then. We're going to go ahead and jump into Uber Strike. I'm going to already have it open. So, I'm going to full screen it. All right, so we're going to go, let me see, play. All right, so basically what you want to do is, um, once you're in your home page, Uber Strike, whatever, you're going to click play and explore maps. And you can choose whatever map you want, whatever uh, map you want to do the cinematic in. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Super Prism. All right. So you see that you get a HUD, which means that you get all this stuff, armor, health points, you get the uh, crosshairs and so what you what you're gonna do is you don't want that stuff on your cinematic because it won't look professional at all so um, I suggest that in your loadout you're gonna pull up your loadout and I'm gonna suggest that your primary weapon should be a sniper rifle preferably the basic sniper rifle because what it does is that it doesn't have a HUD. Okay? And I'll explain to you why you have to put your sniper as primary in a second. So what you're going to do now is um, get rid of your melee. Get rid of your sniper. Get rid of your cannon. Shotgun. Basically get rid of your loadout so you don't have anything. And then you're going to go back and continue. Now, you see how you don't have a crosshair? All you have is the armor points and the ammunition on the bottom. So that's basically what you want. Um, I'm, I'm going to get rid of my... Well, you have FPS. I have FPS enabled on the top. Um, but if you don't, it's no big deal. If you do, it's also no big deal. So... Basically what you did is when you have your sniper as primary and you get rid of the loadout, you don't you don't have any crosshair that stays there. For example, if you were to have your cannon um, as your primary, you set you have a HUD, you have a, a crosshair, I mean, right there. And what you're gonna do if you have your prim your cannon as primary, and you go back. You have your you still have your crosshair there, so you don't want that. You don't want to have crosshair in the middle of your screen while you're doing a cinematic. So what you're gonna do is put your sniper rifle as primary, continue, so it goes away, and you're gonna go back to loadout and remove it, and then it should be gone. You don't have any crosshair. So it's clean. You can get any cinematic you want. So that's that. All right, so what we're going to do now is that there's another trick to this, to creating a cinematic. Before, you were able to press the um, P button on your keyboard, 
and you would enter spectator mode which that means is that for example if you had any weapon if you had a cannon for example and you press P every all the HUD will go away and so it's like you're playing without any um, any HUD which was nice because I didn't have to go through all this crap but um, since they removed that, you really can't do that anymore. Um, another reason why I liked it is because if I had my sniper, for example, if I had the Ordi, and I would press P, when you zoom in, you didn't have the scope in like this. It would just be like a, when you scoped in, it would be like a, like a particle lens with just the crosshair in the center, but you could see the whole picture just zoomed in. Um, and it would look clear, it wouldn't have any HUD. It would just zoom in all the way. And what happens is that the trick I used to do back in the day to record cinematics, I would zoom in twice and then move forward. Actually crouch and then move forward. And you see how super slow you're moving? Perfect cinematic. A lot of a lot more frames for a smoother cinematic if you intend to do like slow motion or anything like that. So basically, now you can't do it because you have this this scoped in image, and so obviously that won't work for a cinematic. But um, since you can't do that now, what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, so I have my loadout clear. I don't have any weapons. And I'm going to go to my um, outfit. Since I have zero AP right now, I want to get my AP up to 100, so I'm a lot slower. So let's go out and throw on some clothes. I'm going to throw on the threads of Tito Sanchez. And then I have 60 AP. Uh, what about this one? 100. Okay, this one's better. 120 AP. I got 128 um, AP on me right now, so that means that I'll move a lot slower. So when you continue, you know, you move a lot slower. If you crouch, you move slower as well. And you can create any cinematic you want um, a lot smoother because you're moving slower. It's not too fast. So that's that trick. Another trick is that um, if you want to catch a cinematic, let's say for example, this, we're going to put some text under this bridge between those two walls just floating in the air. And what you want to do is catch a cinematic, real cool cinematic. What you're going to do is you're going to place, you're going to come up to the wall, crouch, press back. So you're stuck on the wall and then to the side. You see how smooth it moves? And then you can turn with your mouse as well. So you have this, so you're basically focused on the center as you're moving across the map. And you keep this position, you keep pressing back and to the side on your button and crouch at the same time and it moves super slow up against the wall. So you get a more, um, basically a, a lot uh, slower, smoother cinematic when you when you go to edit, you have a smoother cinematic, and then um, you can always fast forward it, you know, so it's not too slow. But uh, basically, that's what that is. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take this into After Effects. So we're going to open up After Effects, and we're going to bring our cinematic clip that we just recorded right now. I'm going to bring it in, and then I'm going to show you how to cover up, basically, the... Um, the HUD, like the armor points, the health points, the ammunition. So basically that way it doesn't become part of your cinematic and you have a, a much cleaner and professional look on your cinematic. These are all little tricks that I had to like deal with before I created cinematics on, on Cinema 4D or anything like that. All right, so now that you have After Effects open, um, you know you want to bring in your video I'm gonna bring in the video the clip 
that I just recorded right now with the cinematic. So I'm gonna drag it into here. Oh, we have, I've selected it already, so I'm gonna drag it in. And basically this is so easy. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know how to do this, but for those who don't, um, it's a new trick that you guys can try now. All right, so this is your raw footage. You can see that you have your, your little HUD down here with the armor points, the health points, you got the ammunition, and you don't want that in your cinematic because it looks newbie. So what we're gonna do is click your video, go up here, layer, go to new, create a solid. Make sure it's black, click okay, and then basically what you're gonna do is widescreen bars. You're gonna bring it up like this, shrink it, bring it out just a little bit, and you're gonna drag it over your hut, like right there. Actually, yeah, bring it like right here. You don't want it up here because then your black bars are gonna be too big, like too wide. You don't want that. So if you want it like a little bit less, like right here, but I know what you're saying. What about that HUD with that, with that armor point thing right there? It's fine. You'll see what I'll do right now. So we're going to go ahead and click our black solid again. Uh, duplicate it. You go to edit up here. Go to duplicate. And then what you're going to do is you have another one now. And you're going to drag it to the top. About the same size. Uh, like right there. Let's see about right there. Now. The way to get rid of this is you're going to clip, I mean, you're going to click on the layer, on your video layer. You're going to drop down right here. You're going to go to transform. And then you see where it says position. You're going to lower it or move it up. So put, what you want to do is lower it. So it's like right below it, like right there. And then you don't get the HUD anymore. You get your nice um, cinematic look without any HUD in the way, nothing. So basically, that's 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 what you do. You know, you you get your cinematic, and then you bring it into here, and then like you make it even more professional, and um, it looks better. It looks a lot better. Um, you know, when you do edits. People will notice that you actually took time to do these things to make your edit look um, better. And so, you know, a lot of people appreciate that. <laughs> um, so that's how you do a cinematic in Uber Strike now. You know, you don't need spec, you, need, you don't actually need spectator mode, um, but you can always get a, a spectator view cinematic by, um, doing what I just showed you. You know, you can. there's ways around it. Um, obviously, you won't get a full cinematic where you fly through the air because that's not available for us. Um, well, I mean, not available for us regular players, but, you know, QAs and all that can, can do it. Um, but since we don't have the, the, those tools in game, you know, you can always go like this, get your nice cinematics. Um, Basically, this one was a fast cinematic. Let's, let's run preview this. This is a um, this would be a fast cinematic because you're going through the map real quick. Um, the other one I showed you before, you know, you get you put your back up against the wall, and you move to the side alongside the wall. You get a lot smoother cinematic, you know, because it's going slower. You get more frames to work with. So this is a cinematic that that I did earlier, and you'll see that it's um it's a lot faster. Okay, so let's run preview it then. You see how you get a nice cinematic? It's pretty cool. You know you can. Get a cinematic just like this by doing what I just showed you. Um, 
so yeah, those are just, you know, tips, tricks to get around stuff. Um, you know, you have to improvise sometimes. So that's basically what you do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'll be making another one probably next week. Uh, I'm not sure what it is going to be on, on about, but um, I know I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, like I said, if you guys haven't seen my first episode, um, the link is right below on the description. Um, go check it out. It's real nice. Uh, you can leave your comments. You can leave likes, <laughs> subscribe, whatever you guys need to do. Um, I'll be post. I'll be putting up a lot of tutorial videos. So if you don't want to miss that out, you know you can always subscribe. All right. So with that being said, you guys. See you next time. Peace.